Welcome to this special episode of Bands of Bakersfield podcast. Uh, Ruben, Josh, hello guys. What's How's up? How's it going? Uh, How are you guys doing today? We're chilling, bro. Good. We're chilling. Good. We're, We're drinking. Chilling. What's this? Uh, is it some, some nice, kind of whiskey or something? Some nice Sweet. bourbon from yeah. Alan. So uh, that's wonderful. We got Alan bourbon. Start back when... Uh, <laughs> go real... Oh, I just did what I was not supposed <laughs> to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, just start back. How'd you guys meet Slamming real quick? How long you been in Bakersfield and all that stuff? Long, like, real, real brief. Um, I mean, we've been in Bakersfield all our lives until we went to college. Um, I was in a band in high school and my singer of the band was like yeah we're gonna record at the studio and i was like okay cool yeah. and we go to the fucking ghetto like right by the fairgrounds oh yeah it's a ghetto. and i walk into this back house and i see uh, a bunch of sweaty dudes with long <laughs> hair and i see a couch and then a couch on a coffee table so it's like theater seating yeah yeah, yeah. and i was like perfect these dudes fucking rule right <laughs> that's how you guys met yeah, yeah. and you and were then, you were then, you recording then yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. we were recording and everyone was like yeah this is our studio we go to the back room we go past his bedroom yeah where the magic happens and uh we go to the back room and he was like yeah this is our studio and like the closet had eight cartons and shit and, what year was uh, this uh 2000 i graduated in 08 so i would say 07 nice it was like when uh home studios were becoming like yeah. more normalish. Yeah. yeah so it was like in the master bedroom of the back yeah, apartment yeah. of my parents house put the half stacks in the closet all that kind of stuff yeah yeah, yep. yeah we did everything uh in that one bedroom lined the closet with egg crate and that was our vocal booth our isolation booth and then we did drums in in the middle of the room and had the desk in the corner and nice it was just my laptop and you know my uh 003 rack at the time and nice that oh, was it cool. so you you uh ruben you've been doing studio engineer stuff obviously we just you just brought that up you played in bands now we've, you know we're going to get into more current stuff here in just a minute. But you uh, you book bands primarily right now, correct? What? How do you, you've done all the music things that you know people will do in town, like recording and playing and all that kind of stuff? What uh, motivated you guys specifically, Ruben? I guess you know what I mean since he's the main one doing it. You know, but anyway, what motivated you to to get into this? Where you you know you get into the, booking bands? It's like not something that everybody does. Most people want to play music. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I, at the time, so I got started, uh, I was in a band in town from 2005-2011. What were we called? Uh, I was uh, the front man of the band called From Ritual to Romance. Okay. And then uh, about two years into being in the band, um, you know, I started, I, we had played a bunch of shows at the time. And you guys went on a bunch of tours. Yeah, we had gone on a couple tours yeah. at that point, And then uh, we got back into town and we were working on the next record. And I had a friend that was in a band called Half Moon Drive. His name was Cody Anderson. And uh, me and him got to talking. And we're like, you know, we kind of see how it goes. Like, you know, we've yeah. talked to, you know, other promoters and see how it is to book bands. So we're you like, know who. what if we just, uh, you know, do it ourselves and, you know, yeah. we can like make a little more money on a show yeah. than just playing it. So, so then so, it wasn't like you were, were you not necessarily thinking about like primary source of income or anything? You were just thinking about like, eh, make a little extra side cash and eliminate the middle guy or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Cause at the of? time, yeah, like we had cool. done the first record and uh, that's, we, we had done it. Love juice labs in Riverside. Yep. It was, you know, yep. relatively affordable, yep. but the second record we were trying to do it a much bigger scale. And, you know, so it costs a lot. So I was like, yeah. Hey, let's do some of these shows. And like, you know, our band's play and we can make a little extra cash to go towards the record. Right. And uh, we booked the first show at this church on H Street near Brundage. Okay. And it was in their cafeteria, you know, their, their you know, dining hall. That was the first show you that ever booked? That was the first show ever booked, <laughs> yeah. And so we nice. uh, we just, like, literally covered the, the, like, the counter where you order your food yeah. with a tarp and, like, <laughs> threw some plywood on the ground. And we are just like, hey, you know, That's awesome. we're playing, you What's know, from a Castle- Romance, Half Moon Drive, and, like, a couple other bands. And, was uh, it at Casa Loma? Uh, no, that was a, <laughs> yeah, it was a church on uh, 8th Street. And we booked the show, and, you know, it went well. And yeah. We made some money. We, you know, split it up and we were able to, you know, cool. finance the record after a couple of shows. And after that, I was like, well, you know, let's, uh, you know, the album's about to come out. We had it mixed and everything by a really great engineer in L.A. And, uh, you know, it sounded great. And I was like, I really want this, you know, album release to be huge. Um, and then me and Cody had come up with the concept of a uh, Fest Fest. And so originally we we're just what, like, oh, let's year do, is this? This when? is two thousand and uh, t- this two thousand and Nine late two thousand nine, yeah, late okay. two thousand nine. And so we came up with the concept of uh, Fest Fest, but it, originally it, we were like, oh, let's just do a a large show, like some sort of small festival, yeah. to you know promote the the album release. And um, 
we you know we couldn't come up with a name we we're coming up with all kinds of stuff and one time we were just all hanging out we called it vest fest like if you wear a vest you get in for free <laughs> and we just had all these stupid ideas and then you know we just kept biker it, patches on it. yeah you know we kept calling it <laughs> fest fest like and we then we finally came on fest fest and i was like well that's actually kind of good because yeah you know just a e festival for a festival you e know easy to remember easy to remember stuff. hey remember and we did the very you first had fest a, fest. you had a tour that was called omg yeah, the, the tour after it? that was called OMG WTF BBQ. <laughs> <laughs> so we're weird. The, the tour, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're into really weird names at the time. Uh, you know, just something that was off the wall. That, that sounds like a tour that was booked around the time like text messaging first started to become a thing. Yeah, exactly. Like you know, if we would have, we would have put emojis instead. Yeah, yeah. You know, 303 was really big yeah. at the time. <laughs> so we booked the first uh, Fest Fest around the album release. Um, and, uh, you know, it was our album release, Half Moon Drive played, and we had a bunch of nice. local bands play. And at that time, it was it was a little bit smaller scale. We still did the two yeah. um, stage. We did two stages. This time, we're doing three. But we did two stages, upstairs and downstairs. And we started at, like, 2 p.m. Nice. And, you Which, know, uh, where was it at again? Ruben's it was gonna, at Jerry's. Jerry's, okay. Ruben's going to be hella modest about this. But, like, uh, Ruben low-key was, like, the reason why Jerry started doing shows up upstairs. Really? Yeah. He was, like... I've seen some cool shows up there. there it was kind of, like... Uh, and, you know, maybe it had been done a, a few times before, but yeah, it wasn't yeah. really utilized. And, you know, they were kind of, like, well, how do we get so many bands so to play? Wait, he, he was the one responsible for making it, like... Because I remember going to Jerry's, and there'd be, like, band hammers at a 30-minute set. No worry about the teardown time because then everybody goes downstairs watches yeah. the band down there yeah. and they would yeah. just be that's doing what, that all yeah, day so, that's what so that's basically like the, that was the, your idea yeah so the reason that's the cool. way we were doing it was like when you go to warp tour and like yeah. the ernie ball stage is next to the small yeah. punk stage and like yeah. they go back to back yep. it was yep. kind of same concept like downstairs music. and then while they're doing it uh, upstairs is swapping and then at the time there was no stage there because this is the first time that anybody had done it yeah right so you know the bands were just playing on the yeah we just slowed the tables over and the bands were playing on the floor and um it was was a that lot in the, of fun. Was that in the time that Jerry's was really small downstairs, too? I mean, it's pretty, I mean, relatively speaking. I mean, it was big. before the bar. Yeah, it yeah, was before yeah. the bar. Yeah, yeah well, so. that's, okay. Cool. But cool. The, the bar, I mean, at that time, the bar was just blocked off by, it was, was a room. That was a room. Yeah. It was a yeah. green room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for a while. So it was, yeah, it was still relatively small. Um, and then we started doing the bands up and downstairs. And that's when Jerry was booking it, or, you know, Jerry owned it. And um, yeah. Yeah. we booked Fest Fest, and it went off really, really well. We had a ton of kids come out. And uh, and then after that was when they decided to add the upstairs right. stage because That's of it. And he was like, "Oh yeah, we could utilize the space for right. smaller shows, you know." And like they started doing like a couple of like open mic comedy nights and gotcha. you know acoustic artists and stuff like that. But um, but the first festival was two thousand two thousand nine. So, okay, that so, answers the that answers the other question I was going to ask. How can you groundbreaking over here? Man. Yeah, so <laughs> you've been doing over ten years. Fest Fest has been a thing going on, and you've been doing it annually. I'm assuming COVID it got weird and all that, but you've been doing it annually pretty much. Well, so I did it in 2009, and then we did it again in 2010. That was Fest Fest two, mm -hmm. and then in 2010, um, at that time, actually early 2011, um, my band broke up, gotcha. and I went to school for audio engineering. So I left oh, Bakersfield, cool. moved to LA, went to the LA Film School, got my degree in audio engineering freelance in some studios down there did a bunch of live sound kind of left um bakersfield like doing shows for a little bit yeah. and that's actually about the time that i joined the numb school crew gotcha and i started working their shows up and down the coast um oh, so that filled that that gap between first couple fest fests and this is to be the third this one. will be the third one gotcha. yeah okay. and then uh like I said, I was gone for a while. I was going to school, and then uh, I started uh, working down there, and I spent you know about eight years down there. Gotcha. Um, and then I recently moved back, and I was like, hey, you know what? Let's do it again. I'm back. Like you know, I'm living here again. So yeah. let's do it again. Well, and here we are. Ruben, so, Ruben and I always kind of hit these moments where like, um, like when he moved back, I moved away. Yeah. Okay. And then like when I moved back, he moved away. So now you're here. So we never had these moments where we're like both in the same town together. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, yeah, this is kind of our first time. Right on. Right like on. actually being together, yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Hey, you guys finally are in the same town at the same time. For yeah, a for real. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Um, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Right on. Well, uh, one question that uh, me and Alan were kind of brainstorming on questions with, uh, earlier. Uh, you know, you book a ton of shows i'm assuming just the nature of doing something over and over again it eventually becomes you know a little mundane right but is there any like i don't know top three shows or something that really stick out to you maybe you love the band maybe there it was just super wild in a good way or in a bad way you know just something that stuck out to either of you guys really you know the tech the nine show Te and tech why nine. No, no 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 what was you, the show no uh, uh so one that sticks out that uh, will always stick out was uh take action 
the Take Action Tour, and it was uh, the Red Jumpsuit Apparatus, Emery, Scary Kids, Scaring Kids, and this was at the Dome in 2008. Yeah, way oh, back. Geez. Hey, no, and, no, no, uh, what was the what was the rapper that like with the 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 guarantee? Hey, did you book Motorhead? That was Tech Nine? Oh, it was Tech Nine. Yeah, tell the Tech yeah. Nine story, dude. I'll tell that one after. Yeah. All right, for sure. Yeah. So t- the Take Action Tour was super great because we didn't. You so can, it, you, it sold a few pre-sales, you know, before. Yeah. And so we were kind of going into it real skeptical, like, man, it didn't do as well as we thought. And then we had a giant walk up. We ended up like oh, really? overselling and we went over capacity. Jeez. I mean, to the point that it was so packed that you, we couldn't get through the dome. Yeah. yeah. I mean, R- we, R- it was hard to get through the crowd. Even, it's a like, big venue to book up like that. Too. Yeah. We, yep. did, you know, I think the, at that time the capacity was like 2,200 and I think we did like, we definitely, we went did over. like 31. <laughs> we went over. Jeez. Yeah. Dude, walking to the, walking crazy. outside, like to the booth, like to the, to the, uh, the merch tables, you're like just trying to walk through. Like, and how, how, did, how did you do this? will go into more, you know, recent stuff too, as far as like, what do you do that, that makes that work like that? As far as do you just really hustle and promotion, lots of flyers and stuff or like, you know, like what, yeah. What, and the, what at that do? time, that, this was the MySpace days. So yeah. there wasn't a lot of like, you know, yeah. make a post and people will like yeah. it, you know, social media wasn't as yeah. strong as it is now. Yeah. We so would it go, was a lot of hitting, hitting streets and having a street team and like flying the high schools and yep. like, Dude, taking them like, up here. At like three in the morning, we're driving like to the fucking Valley Plaza to put up, uh, you know, to put up flyers, right to go to, you know, I think you guys like, you guys broke you guys like jumped the fence at west and south and stuff yeah yeah, yeah we would yeah, break yeah, into yeah. high I did that schools for, and like yeah, yeah and like know? plaster them yeah. on the side of a building you know and like tape yeah. them up and you know that's that i mean i think that's kind of what makes it the best part yeah. of it you know it, it is you know not to be like oh super diy but it, it, it you know us getting chased by security at, us getting chased by security at the mall at like <laughs> three in the morning is like some of the best times of our lives yeah you know? So yeah, yeah like, you know, we're like yeah. putting up a poster like right on one of the doors and you know you, you see guys the lights against and, the world you know just run <laughs> and jump yeah, in the car like go 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 yeah, it is fun it was, it was a good cool. time yeah the tech nine story is, is hilarious it was at the side room at the dome you, you can go into it briefly i mean you know, yeah so we did so we did tech nine wild. well we did tech nine at the dome and uh we did them in the no we did them in the main room main room yeah we did them in the main room and then also in, R.I.P. the dome in. Yeah. Uh, and then in his contract, it said he had to get paid before he went on. OK. And like I had read that, but, you know, I didn't you know, I didn't think it was like going to be like a legitimate thing because most bands get paid after they play. Yeah. yeah. And it was because then he the tour manager came to me. He's like, hey, can we, you know, chat in the office? And I was like, oh, yeah, for sure. He's like, hey, so we do have to get paid like before he goes on. I was like, oh, oh, oh OK, like, yeah. let's do it. Like, you know, so I took the money out and I was like, hey, here you go. Yeah. Started counting it out and, you know, laid it all on the table and he recounted. And he was like, yeah, it's all here. And he got on the phone and he called and he's like, yeah, it's all there. And then like literally as soon as he said that, you just hear the crowd go wild because the lights, <laughs> lights went go down, down yeah. lights go down and That's he starts crazy. walking on stage and i was like shit he was just standing there waiting to find out <laughs> his money was there or not and oh, uh, and yeah so it was uh that that one like i said i didn't take it seriously because i thought i thought he was just gonna get paid after and that's you know. crazy yeah it makes you think like all the things that are going on behind the scenes before a guy's gonna walk out on the stage you know what I mean? yeah like, you know everyone's in there just like, like yeah he's coming out but we're in the yeah. in the thing you know in the office counting money like hey there you go there's all your money right okay on. go you know that's crazy man so what uh another thing i wanted to ask obviously we got fest fest coming up i'm playing it a million people are playing it we're gonna get into some of the um headliners and stuff like that what other shows you got coming up besides the obvious fest fest three uh you got anything else cooking uh, before that after that around that yeah so gonna, um so you know I, I i do two different uh companies i work for numskull for numskull mm-hmm. i'm a production manager so numskull is uh you know the main guy is eddie mm-hmm. and uh, he books uh, you know all the shows and stuff and then um uh like this sun this monday coming up we have subhumans at tumblr yeah and then thursday is uh show me the body nice. at uh at tumblr and then after that is um we have the Tom Petty tribute band there, and then August first we also have a uh, Angel Dust. So and don't forget about uh, the Melvins and the Melvins. Yeah, the Melvins. <laughs> I uh, got my ticket already. Yeah, Melvins, Melvins September seventh at at Tumblr. So it's gonna be a big. So um, you know we got a lot of good stuff. We just announced uh, Chase cool. Petra today, who's like uh, you know really big on TikTok. Oh cool. Um, and so that will be in September at uh, Tumblr as well. And Angel Dust is at Jerry's. And then we still do like some DJ nights uh, right. through Numskull. Like we do the Bad Bunny uh, DJ night. We just did that one. That one did like 500 people. At, dude, Bad Bunny, the uh, uh, 1933. It looked crazy oh, dude. on the interwebs. Dude, it was, everybody comes out for it. It's it was crazy. It looked wild. I was it's, playing. It's a good time. Okay. Yeah, we're doing it again September 2nd at 1933, and I expect it to yeah. sell out again. So yeah. then there's the Numskull thing, and I help promote that, and I help run that here in town. And then uh, then the second company is Plan B. 
uh, Plan B Productions, and that's the one where we're doing the local shows, and that's who Fest Fest is through. Nice. So, yeah, and then Fest Fest is August 20th uh, at Jerry's Worldwide. Pizza. Three stages, a uh, vendor fair. We have uh, like a dessert vendor. We have Bake Bake Shop, who's going to bring, uh, you know, a lot of good treats out. Um, Wasteland Zine is uh, helping rusty. out. They're, uh, yeah, yep. uh, Mallory and, 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 uh, and Rusty, they're going to... Um, Shout out to Wasteland Zine. Yeah, Good yeah Wasteland's uh, been really great to work with. They've been uh, super helpful. And actually, it's funny because I'm, I'm very, you know, DIY. Like, I have my notebook yeah. that I carry with me, and I'm writing Rust, notes, and I'm scribbling Rust things and papers. His... And then I go into a meeting with them, and, like, Mallory and Rusty bust out their laptops. Yep. And they're yeah. like, oh, we can do a Google Doc, and we can do this. And I was like, oh, yep. shit. Like, yep. I'm not nearly as organized as they are. They're, you know, they're, they're brilliant, you know? Yeah, yeah. And so they're handling the vendor fair and the poets and the outdoor stage. Nice. Um, you know, I'm handling the inside and like together we're making this, uh, you know, three stage thing. And I never done three stages before. So how is it, how's the rotate or how is that going to go? Is it going to be a rotation like one band at a time or you can have a couple stages going at a time? Like yeah. So basically the inside is going to run just like the other fest fest where one stage is playing, the other stage is swapping and then back and forth. Mm -hmm. And then the outdoor stage is going to kind of run all day. So they're gotcha. going to, you know, cause it's mostly acoustic and small, small acts. Right. And then, um, then there's going to be poets in between. And then Sweet. in the vendor fair, we're going to have, you know, everyone selling their crafts. So that's kind of like the it's be like a street fair thing outside mm -hmm. with a constant, like kind of laid back music. Yeah. And then, but, uh, the old school rotating the, the stages and Jerry's inside. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. this, uh, one dude that we fortunately got, uh, he goes by the name of uh, Mike Peters. I don't know if you guys, <laughs> I thought he was Michael on the fly. Oh, sorry. Josh. Michael, Michael Jeez, Peters. Man. sorry. Michael Peters is going to be playing there. So, uh, you know, I'm going to be playing a bunch of really sad songs and nobody's going to want to hear it. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It, sometimes, sometimes people like it, sometimes they don't. But that's that's not what we're here to talk for. My, my I feel like time, people Josh. go to look at you. I don't I don't think they even care about that. I, really I feel like know. they go to look at you first. Nobody, yeah, I mean, you're a good looking dude. Nobody, like, nobody's there. Mike's going to sit here and act like he's not super fucking handsome. Dude. Right. Like I, I saw you, I saw you across the bar and I was like, that guy has to play fast, fast. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. 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 You, know, well, you guys, know. you guys know that I got him as the host for this podcast for his specifically looks. That, yeah. specifically that reason talks, i thought you know, so. alan i thought you did it because i was so sophisticated and it could talk so smoothly you're so like mike can't even read uh, yeah <laughs> I can, yeah i can't talk or read or nothing but yeah uh, over here, i have a paper with wingdings on it and that's how you keep track of everything <laughs> <laughs> do you want to get into fest fest do you want to yeah well we kind of did a little bit uh what i wanted to do is um yeah, talk to me about the some of the artists on Fest Fest. Whatever you think is important to talk about with yeah. Fest Fest. You know, I, I've never even heard of it before this. Yeah, until I was booked and I met you. You know, and all that. So, like, what do you guys? We have a flyer out that um, lovely Cam, Cameron Warner at Canvas oh, yeah. Cam made for us. No, Cameron. He hit it out of the park on the flyer. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful flyer. Looks good, yeah. Dude, if I was like going to go see like Coachella and that was a flyer, I'd be like, Damn. yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, we, um, you know, Fest Fest started. Basically pretty, I hate saying this word, but pretty DIY, you know, like yeah. it was, it was like, like Ruben said, it was like, why are we paying other people Yeah, in this town? When you guys should do it all yourself. Not going to mention the name. Um, why are we paying these people to run these shows when we can just do it ourselves? Like we're yeah. friends with all, we're friends with all these bands. These bands always hit us up to, you know, back then, you know, you know, when the scene was, uh, you know, obviously, you know, with Reddit Dare, you know, when this, when the scene was pretty booming. Yeah. It was always like, hey, can you get us on the show? And it was like, yeah, I'll hit up whoever and blah, 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 and then we'll get you on the show. Yeah, yeah. And that's, I think those were like the grassroots for Fest Fest, which was, right. was like, we know, Ruben knows so many people that are in bands just from playing shows, from touring, and, you know, and, and at that time being the biggest band in Bakersfield. Utilizing all your connections. It was just basically like everybody was hitting him, up, hitting him up to be on shows anyway. So it's like, why don't we just do it? Why doesn't yeah. Ruben just do it? You know what I mean? So it yeah. was, it, it turned into that thing where it was like, uh, you know, a half of these people are people that we're friends with, and then the other half is just people in town. You know, people that just want to yeah. play shows, people that just want to be around, mixing business and fun. So you don't have to work. Yeah, right? a hundred percent. But yeah. it's just, it's also just, you know, it, it definitely is a community, and it's yeah. definitely, you know, you have, you know, it, you there's an ebb and flow of people coming out to shows. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when you get everybody together to play a show, it gives everybody an excuse to go out. Yeah. And, and um, I think you sometimes forget like, you know, people it's, it's really easy to, 
I guess talk shit about Bakersfield and the music scene yeah. and all that here and and, yeah. and and it seems like this that remind us that like hey like there's actually people here that give a shit there's like good music in Bakersfield there's good music here on like and, if you yeah. if you think that Bakersfield has no good music and you've never heard of Vince Galindo yeah like I, I don't yeah. know what to tell you dude like yeah, yeah Niner or, Niner I mean there's so yeah many if bands. you never heard of like Mike Peters you know like I don't know Michael <laughs> sorry Michael um you know it, it, it's one of those scenes where it's like dude like no there's actually good music here and there's yeah. also people hey. that. I think more than anything, there's people here that actually give a shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no, absolutely. Ruben is definitely one of those dudes. Yeah, well, yeah. and you know that was the Clearly. point of Fest Fest was that we wanted to just show that that there's a lot of good bands in town, and sometimes That's, a lot of them don't get you know seen because uh, you know there was yeah. especially in the old days, you know when Jerry's was doing and the Dome were doing really really well, and we were booking you know national acts all the time. Yeah. That you'd have the show that has a bunch of locals on it, and nobody would come out nobody because they're come. saving their money to go to take action tour or to yeah. go to the tech nine Worked and to go to the Avenged yeah. Sevenfold. Yeah, you know, <laughs> some one of the big shows, and they're saving their money for that, and yeah. like, you know, so that was the point of Fest Fest, which is why, like, yeah. even with this one, we kept the ticket price super low, right? Um, so that way, it gets everyone a chance to come out because I mean, it's only twenty dollars for the entire day, and you can come hang out all day long. It's good bands too. One cool thing I think you're doing too is this uh, post COVID thing. Obviously, there's a lot of music going on, but what I've noticed is a lot of it's the laid back. Well, like what I'm doing a lot of right now, you're singing while people are eating dinner, or if it's a set, you know, it's like a two or three hour set, and it's it's laid back music at a brewery or a winery or something like that. Other than this this fest fest thing is not that at all you know you got rock bands going on it's it's about the music about the art you know what i mean yeah. and then um dylan was doing some of that with a killer current with having you know that whole what was the name of that festival going on again uh over there anyway it doesn't matter but uh he you know there was like a lot of rock bands and stuff going on and there hasn't there's a lot of rock bands in town and they've been playing some but there hasn't been like again this is the closest thing besides you know what dylan did which is only you know, these couple little deals where uh, there's like a whole crap load of full bands playing live music that are playing it for the sake of playing music, not so you can eat dinner with some background music. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So you're kind of getting that ramped up and going yeah. again. It looks like, a, you know, like what, like that kind of leads me to like, what are you guys doing future plans? You know, because I'd like to see the rock and roll thing or, or full bands, you know, loud live music is kind of what I'm getting. It doesn't have to be specifically. Yeah, you know, I, I, like, I... What's going on? I want to see this grow. You know so, what I mean? like, so even like, before I booked shows, there was a lot of times where I would, um, you know, like, when I was in high school, it was the thing. It was like, you know, you have five bucks in your pocket. You can go down to Jerry's and yeah, just see some yeah. bands. And that was that used to be the thing. Like Six look, if you wanted pizza. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Six if you wanted pizza. Yeah. And then you go down and you just see some bands and, you know, hang out for the night and, you know, yeah. watch some bands and yeah. pay your five bucks. And, you know, I would love to get to that. I mean, obviously. Where it's consistent, you know, hopefully. Yeah, where it's consistent. Inflation. And people can, like, come back. And, you know, obviously with inflation, the ticket prices are going to go higher. But, um, yeah, I, mean, I mean, I would love to do those kind of shows again. And then the other thing, too, like I want to do is – you know, give some of these bands a chance to do, um, you know, do what they want to do. So like I have, yeah. a, I have a thing that I want to do called money shows where, okay. you know, I want to let some of these bands, you know, cause I've, since I've been doing shows for a long time, I've harbored some great deals with some of the venues to, you know, give me a little bit lower overhead. And I want to pass that along to some of the bands to like, That's so cool. you know, they put a show together. I give them the majority of the door That's so awesome. and then they can take that money and go produce a new record or right. go buy some merch or, you know, go That's on tour or whatever, because some of these bands, you know, they play a lot of these shows and, you know, some of them, you know, they, you know, they play for free or they play for like a yeah. hundred bucks. And, um, they just don't have the support to do the good bands. They need the support. support they need the hard. financial support yeah. in order to, yeah. to do what they want to do and like to move to the next level. And so with these, you know, money shows that I want to introduce, which, you know, any band can, you know, I feel hit like, me up on the plan. I, B I feel like Instagram. you never would have done that had you not been in a band and, yeah. you know, and know how yeah. that you, we all at this table know how that goes. Yeah. Like you're in a band and you're good, but it's a good yeah. band, but you're broke. Yeah. You don't, you know what I mean? I mean exactly. And, and I've heard some of these bands and, and a lot of them are, and you know, a lot of these bands are really, really good and they just need the financial backing to yeah. move to that next level. Yep. And, uh, and that's what I want the money shows to do is to give them that financial strength to, you know, like I said, put out the new record, put out the new merch, make a music yeah. video, do yeah, something yeah. that's going to push them to the next level. And then, sure. you know, and then they leave Bakersfield and they do something cool. And, you know, we, played some small part in it you know yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. that's and, i mean uh, i think that goes back right. to like uh fest fest um yeah where it was just genuinely you like you look at like you know obviously the four of us grew up you know going to shows downtown going to jerry's Constantly. going to the gate yep um the boiler room boy the, oh yeah the yeah. boiler room. that was my first show ever yeah that's well my first that show. i played in a band that was the, mine too yeah, yeah. Hey, rob allison yeah. can i tell you this yeah. same 
Yeah. Yeah, really? Yeah, right yeah. on. First show ever at Boiler Room. Damn. R.I.P. Um, That's cool. Yeah. You know, it, it's one of those things where it's like, I'm sure you guys remember outside of high school, you know, you're like, you get out of high school. What are we doing on Friday night? Going who's to play, church. Who's playing at church? Who's playing at the gate? Oh, yeah. I don't know, but I'm going anyways. Yeah. You gotta go that to was, I think that was all of our childhood or, yep. you know, or well, I guess our adolescence if, in our, in our, if in you our were high a school. Yuppie or a jock, you did that at the marketplace. And the yeah, guys facts. like us went to Jerry's. Yeah. And yeah. Don't, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We went to Jerry's. We went, you know, we went to the dome. We went to the gate. You know, those were our things. And it's, I, I, I do feel like Fest Fest is kind of a, you know, resemblance of that time where it's like, school. well, it's just like, who's playing? I really don't give a shit. I know go. that it's local bands. I'm going to go basically hang out with people in the same town as me, people that I know, people that I don't yeah. know, meet new people. And I'm going to see local bands. And, and the fact that there's just people in the crowd watching this band play is is yeah. enough for that band where we have all been in that position yeah. where it's like yeah. you know i'm sure the three of us have all played shows where fucking nobody was there and we're still like do. Yeah. and you're like I why still do and you're like <laughs> right and you're like why the fuck am i here why yeah. am i doing this yeah and then and then you have a show where you're like oh shit like my whole community is here yeah. this is why i do this. i think that's I, I i know what you're getting at it's like a you love playing music when you're in a band or you're writing songs or whatever, all that stuff. And you do it anyway by yourself. Right. Yeah. But at the same time, like it's, it's, it's better shared. Yeah. Uh, you know, when I mean, other, that's when why somebody you do else it. enjoys what you already would enjoy doing by yeah, yourself. Like when I was in a band, I remember you know? like we yeah. play shows and you know, there would be people that came that were just there for our band. But then there were people I knew that were there that yeah. just went to shows and yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. nice to see them. It's like, Oh, Hey, what's up, man? Like, you know, yeah, it's, yeah. Going you, up, you know, like we're not yeah. playing tomorrow, but are you going to go see, you know, right. Like stereo yeah. tactic tomorrow yeah. at Jerry's pizza? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm going to go too. you know, but that communal aspect is what it's very much human yeah. and important. You and, know it, what I mean? and, it, and it's definitely, um, very missing and in person too yeah it's yeah, definitely missing from this town yo totally and, and, and i mean we can all i mean we can all agree i mean not shitting on bakersfield at all but i mean no. we can all agree that it's been missing for a while you know it's it's back and forth it's like yeah. uh it's been missing for a while yeah. and then you know it seemed like to me between 2012 and 15 the you know the the mint the Riley's San well, it kind of turned was into a, the yeah. band yeah it turned into the bar bands you had uh what was zach's band um uh, I don't remember. I know there was like a lot of choirs, the volume. Well, yeah, choirs, Beast obviously. teacher, or not beast teacher, a holy beast. Habitats. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. There was a, you know, and then obviously European. Um, Reddit before, Air was playing. Before that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. kind of turned into, um, well, like, how do we make money off of this? Yeah. And it turned yeah. into playing at Century. And playing, it turned into playing at the Mint and all that. And it's like, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. There's no, I, I y y it, we're, all, yeah. we're all to the point where it's like, yeah, we're all in our like mid 20s or late 30s. And it's yeah. like, we all like are doing this now to the, point of like hey we need some money out of this you know yeah, so yeah, i yeah. understand playing at bars we're definitely not doing it just because it's cool no not, <laughs> no, not it, at all it not does all. not help pull no ladies or nothing like not that. at all no 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 you're like oh you're yeah. 35 and, and you're you play in a band at cherries. Yeah, yeah. exactly like that. you're playing wait you you yeah I totally, yeah, yeah I, you're I, so I cool i don't want to get off on that rabbit trail yeah, yeah. yeah no no for sure so it, it's definitely um you know all, all of these factors kind of take hold yeah, of yeah. like you know why someone would be like oh the scene here in bakersfield is yeah. dead and um yeah, yeah. i think what uh ruben and i think what numb school is doing is being like you know what like well it's like we you know and, and what you guys are doing where it's like yeah. we understand that like you know bakersfield like when you think of bakersfield music obviously you think of like buck owens and corn but and, don't forget merle haggard and then a demon and merle haggard <laughs> and and michael peters but then you're like you got my you got the name right yeah thank you yeah. mike <laughs> um and then you're just kind of like you know what? There really isn't much of a scene there. You know, I threw, I, yeah. I grew up in the hardcore scene, which you know yeah, obviously yeah. died out very quickly. Yeah, metal scene died out. It really was like hair metal in the eighties. Yeah, it, it all yeah. died out very, very yeah. fast. But you look at, um, you know, basically what Ruben is doing with Fest Fest is, is, you know, this whole. It's just it's community. That's Br all. Yeah, it is. bringing back the the in real life in person. Uh, community aspect of it, which is yeah. like a contrast of what we came from with everything was live streamed yeah. the COVID stuff. And I yeah. missed, I missed the live rock and roll band thing anyway. Just, dude, prior just to being that. around people that like music, dude. Yeah, like, totally. And even if it's a different yeah. music, like I'm going to be honest, like most of the bands on here, we weren't like, Oh, they're this kind of band. So they shouldn't play. Yeah, you we were bands. just like, are you from here? Or are you from, you know, just getting music the, on, the area? Yeah. Then come fucking play. That's the best way to do it. Uh, in regards to the fest fest thing, like future, I guess, present stuff. Um, you already book, uh, I guess you could say, international acts. You know, bands that are out of town, obviously. Like mm -hmm. With the Subhumans, right, was the other one. Mm -hmm. And Melvin's. And then there's a couple other ones in there. But uh, do you plan on having that happen at 
with Fest Fest in the future too? Or is Fest Fest strictly going to be stay like straight local bands or artists? Or how what, you know what do you want to do with that? What do you think? Uh, I mean, eventually, you know, it'd be great to grow it to a point where you know you're incorporating national or even yeah. international acts that yeah, you could yeah. have, you know, a festival, you know. I mean, you know, not saying like Coachella or something, but you know, something yeah. big yeah. where you could have like <laughs> large artists. Like an play. Earthquake. Yeah, I was like, dude, if we're having a bunch of locals and then we're having like three big ass bands headlining, yeah. of course we're not going to say no to that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's what I would like yeah. to eventually get it to at some point in the future is just. Uh, <laughs> Bro, what is going on? Up I am there? not hitting the table, Alan. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, going. it's yeah. Uh, it's disclaimer they're upstairs. So if just, it gets bad, we'll we'll cut. Yeah, it's for okay. a minute, we, we have we'll there's there's new ballerinas they're there and they're stinking. They're, they're not very <laughs> gentle us, with dude. their feet yet. And uh, yeah, 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 and they're drunk. listening to Sean Kingston. They're just like, oh, <laughs> oh yeah, so dude. good. Drunk three hundred pound ballerinas. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it really is. Um, I think with like, I, as I can speak for Ruben with a uh, you know numb schools and and all and in Plan B, it's. Um, you know, we obviously you want to bring big bands that are going to pull. Like obviously sure. that yeah, is yeah, yeah. that is a how you pay yeah, the bills, yeah. but it's b like how you get more people out. One hundred percent. I will say venues have seemed a lot more open about wanting us to kind of do whatever we do. Um, yeah. We've had a really really good conversations with Cherries now that they have a new owner. Yeah. Um, Timbler has been super down for what we're doing. 1933 has been really, really cool about yeah. what we're doing. And yeah. it's, um, I, I, I'm sure you remember where it was like, oh, why did we play shows at the Gate and Jerry's? Because those were the only ones only that were like, you could. yeah, they were the only ones where we're like, oh, we'll deal with all you kids. Or, or depending on what kind of music it was too. Yeah. yeah. You know I mean, like yeah, you, yeah. you could literally do whatever you wanted yeah, style wise at Jerry's, and, no matter how cool or uncool it was. We're yeah. kind of hitting this renaissance of, back to those days where you know kind of jerry's has told us like hey like whatever you want to whatever you guys want to do we trust you 1933 has been the same way and timbler has been the same way so it is nice having uh you know kind of a community of venues that are here for having local shows i think it'd be really good for bakersfield too Mm -hmm. and especially you guys are not like I, wa- I looked at the uh, flyer and started reading. Uh, I-, I obviously recognized a fair amount of the artists and bands on the Fest Fest. That one guy, Michael Peters? Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, he was the, he was definitely going to be the, I'm going to skip that set. But uh, <laughs> no, anyway, uh, you guys are also not just, dis- you talked about how you're just like throwing bands on there. You know, if you're, hey, you're local, cool, come on, do things. You yeah. guys are not very discriminatory at all in the style, which uh, I think that's pretty cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, yeah. you never I mean, know what you're going to bump into. Because that know? was the first thing with the first Surprising Fest Fest too. was that, you know, like we played it and then my friend Cody's band played it, happened driving like a few of the yeah. friends band, like seven to the right played it. And like, you know, these bands that we knew back in the day they did. And then, uh, but then we wanted to have more. So we we're just like, hey, do you play music? You want yeah. to play this show, you know, yeah. and we just yeah. were letting everyone. I mean, That's I remember so cool. at the very first one, uh, we there was a band that played, and it was literally one guitar player, a drummer, and they had a TV that play, that just had static on the Did whole time. Did they play the uh, the boiler room sometimes? Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. I remember that. Yeah, group, yeah. Dude. So it was the guitar yeah. player, and then they had the TV that just did static, and then the drummer, and the static went the entire set. Yeah, and those dudes played it was like a bunch fest. of noise. Yeah, yeah and it was, was uh, and it was super interesting to watch. Like I remember, I booked yes. them just like was you that know, Dima? Yeah, I booked them via MySpace and was just like, hey, you guys want to play? like i hadn't even heard they didn't have any music on their page really? at the time and i was like hey let's you know just come through and play I, you I know let's have fun seeing that guy and getting i was like well, that's really weird but you know what i mean whatever you know what i mean yeah it's, and then people into that art happened. rock is that what they i don't know what you even call that you know what I mean? that was kind of like the whole like um i guess like noise rock I don't yeah know. it was kind of beginning like spa- of it yeah. it was kind of like the spaz kind of um okay. punk kind of part it definitely derived from punk rock it was really oh, yeah. raw yeah yeah, yeah. he was super I mean? raw you know yeah. like punk rock but yeah. with the static and you know the noise in the background and yeah, yeah. and i remember at fest fest he went on about midday and like people were into it you know and that's i was cool. like i was like that's, that's cool. cool like this guy probably got you know new fans like, just nobody would have heard that guy nobody would have heard that maybe guy maybe even heard of that front. genre yeah. to, you know what i mean that's what's kind of cool about that whole yeah. you know dude can we talk about how awesome open. the boiler room was <laughs> Yeah, boiler room was, was the best, dude. Yeah. It, it really was. Dude. It was so. I cool. love the uh, no cursing sticker on the Raptors. <laughs> <laughs> the no, Nobody listened. Oh, so Stephen Stephen Allison was the singer of my band that time. So we actually got to use it to rehearse. Was that Redditor? No, that was the crime when I was Ooh. nineteen. That was in two thousand. Yeah, long three. ass hair, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it was a fro then. It, it was growing up, and then it fell down, and then it was yeah, yeah. That was a anyway. that was a high school quarterback, Mike Peters. What was? Uh, I was definitely not a high school quarterback. <laughs> I don't. I, yeah, I, was, I wasn't a. Big, uh, so you had long game. hair and you were playing in the crime. It was a fro, yeah. 
It's an afro. Like super fro It's super like football helmet. So my hair is curly and it goes up and then it gets heavy and goes down. Mm. But I mean, I don't, I cut my hair. It's hot and all that stuff. But what a, this is not really off the, what, what a, you guys were in bands together too, way back in the day, right? I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of rabbit trailing a little so, bit. Right? So, so I, I was in From Ritual to Romance, yeah. and I was yeah, a yeah. screamer of that band. Um, yeah. and the record's still on Spotify. It's crazy. Yeah, I still, get, I still get a check every now and then. I was in a band called The Beatles. Okay, it's Paul McCartney, his yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, friends of friends. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I was in a band, and um, the singer of the band was like, "Hey." Uh, I know where we're going to record our album. And I was like, okay, cool. Like, is yeah. it a studio? And he was like, no, it's like this house by the fairgrounds. Oh, and that's I was how like, you guys. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I was you. like, as, as. So you guys have literally just been buddies because you wanted to be buddies. You weren't in bands together, per se. No, no. we because we were, well, you we were in together. separate bands. And then I recorded yeah. I recorded the oldest sound record. And then yeah. um, and then we started, you know, we started coming hanging out at shows. I was 16. And then it was about, like, maybe 10 years ago, yeah, like, was... right when I le- right when we both left Bakersfield. Right. That we did a record and we were calling ourselves The Oceans Project. Oh, yeah. And uh, we did that record together, and then it that, just kind of floated, whole, around, floated around fucking, Facebook for a little bit. and Turn on the punch. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was like 16. Ruben was like 58. And uh, cool. I was like, yo, this dude's fucking cool. Uh, he records music. Why are you hanging out with 16-year-olds when you're 58? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. I just got my AARP card. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, like I said, I showed up, and uh, I was telling you earlier, yeah, I showed up. I walk into this house, and there's some dude going down <laughs> on fucking Guitar Hero. Yeah, and it's Ruben. Yeah, and I was like, multi talent. Yeah, I was like, I want to hang out with these guys for yeah. sure, and uh, we've been friends ever since. Um, right on. But yeah, we we kind of got into that. We, um, you know, and the, the same time as like the OG Fest Fest, that was our uh, farewell show, right? Yeah. So that yeah, was yeah, our yeah. album release, and that was O the Sound's final show. Yeah, my mm-hmm. band's show. I was leaving to LA, and um, nice. we were kind of breaking up, so we're like, "Fuck it, we'll just do one more." And we did it at Fest Fest, and that was when Cody. Uh, did his set too, right? Yeah, so, so Cody yeah, played yeah. in Half Moon Drive and then he also did um, You're gonna his, hear his new m- project called Cody and Friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. you're going to hear us mention this guy named Cody and he's also on the flyer at the very, 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 very bottom. He's Cody. Playing. Good old Cody. Yeah, Cody Anderson. Cody Anderson was, um, I met him before I met you also because he was, oh, dude, we forgot about venues. We forgot about Montgomery Ward. Oh, yeah. Montgomery Ward. Did you I ever play that? there? I never Montgomery played Ward there, Plaza, but uh, yeah. I remember there hey, was bands there for a long time. Montgomery Ward kind of slapped, dude. It was kind yeah. of a really fun place You know, I play. never, I was constantly going to just, I never there? actually oh, seen yeah. or played a show at Montgomery Ward Plaza. Oh, yeah. Never no, did. It, was, it was a no. decent venue. It was really it fun, was dude. in the like, food yeah. court of the they Montgomery were, right. Plaza. They were just really chill about it. And it's like, yeah, you have like the stage and it had like, what? old pandas on the back or whatever <laughs> yeah yeah paintings right yeah, yeah but yeah uh i met cody a long time ago he was booking shows and um that's kind of what turned into fest fest um well, sadly sadly our buddy has passed a few years ago <sighs> so my uh, we, we thank you we do have a, a you know at the bottom we do have a little uh kind of ode to him because i he, didn't know that yeah yeah. and so he, he was, would be instrumental in kind of fest fest existing i mean he was he yeah. was he's the whole reason i book shows you know Props i mean I, I hadn't really thought about booking shows until he was the one who came to me and that was like why are we giving our money away uh, to other people that's so cool. we could do it ourselves and then what with him cool is when we started doing that and then he came with me at the dome and we were booking at the dome then i took over jerry's for a few years and he booked with me at jerry's and then at that point he yeah. had left he would you know left the show game to um uh get married and right. start a family that's and tough. i stayed in the shows and then uh yeah and then you know he would come to some shows here and there we were, i was still booking him like he, the last time i saw him was we were doing Seosin in Fresno at the Woodward oh, nice. Amphitheater. And uh, he came out to a show and hung out and hung out, you know, all yeah. day and was like, yeah, I miss it, you know. And I was like, yeah, you can always come back. And then, you know, shortly That's after, cool. we, we lost our friend. And um, we do have a little Easter eggs on our flyer. We have a um, canvas cam, if you can find it. Where's Waldo? But we, at the very bottom of our flyer, we do have a tribute to Cody Anderson. Check out the flyer, guys, for Fest. It, it's a really good flyer. Bro. It is a nice looking flyer. And check out to... Canvas Cam. I know that, like, we're Speaking buddies. of that, speaking of online, uh, where do people find you guys online for so more we're, traffic and whatnot? Uh, we have, Ruben has an OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, work. it's mostly just for free pictures. Yeah. <laughs> no, but we, we're on Instagram. Uh, you know, so there's Instagram, it's Plan B Productions, and that's the yeah. local stuff. And then uh, you can look up Ruben with Numskull, and that's the uh, national stuff, and that's the stuff I'm doing with Numskull. I don't want to say my and energy, then, no. uh, And then, yeah, then Fast Fest has its own Instagram as well. Right on. So yeah, feel absolutely. free to all add all of those. And so, then, yeah. uh, and you then know, also, eventually uh, we want to be added to, you know, the Bands of Bakersfield website. Yeah. You yeah, know, which yeah. I think is a, an amazing resource for someone like me, you know, where we're, I'm trying to book bands and I'm booking some of these bigger shows. Yeah. And it's like, oh, we need, 
you know, two acoustic acts or two, you know, yep. indie acts to play with this band. Like I could go on the website, you know, check out all yep. the bands that are on there and like, oh, hey, you know, there's music on here. There's pictures. There's the whole thing. And I can, you know, yeah. then shoot them a message like, hey, what's up? You want to open right. for this band? You know, I, th- I think it's going to be really cool once we get the, the ball roll on that. We're going to need all artists, musicians, bands, guys like you's help to get bands to put their stuff off there. Props to Alan Urquhart back there. It's his, uh, he's the one that conceived yep. the idea. Uh, I think that's going to be super cool. And all that oh, kind of yeah. Stuff. yeah. I think we selfishly feel like, um, you know, there's kind of the, like glory days of like, you know, when you're growing up and you have no responsibilities except for like playing dumb shows and yeah. like your friends. Um, I think that we kind of selfishly like miss those days. So we're trying to, I guess, get some sort of resemblance of that with 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 things like fest the old and school with local show. well in, i mean it's just like dude, in like, person human when you stuff. look at you look at like you know i i think the reason why we're all friends and the reason we all connect is that like we look at like what we grew up on and we kind yeah. of all grew up in the same scene of yeah like like i said you know it's like oh is it friday night you're getting out of like fucking high school and you're like what yeah, are yeah. you doing tonight and it's like well i'm going to cherry's and it's like well who's there and you're like i don't fucking know but i know yeah. it's gonna be a good time right totally man and i think you want to provide that for the community yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. and i think that's what we all grew up on we all grew up on like you know this kind of like you know obviously we're not like the fucking jocks we're not like plus we don't want all the kids just sitting home only playing fallout 4 all the time because that's a lame video, <laughs> i mean <man>. bro <laughs> Don't get anyway, me started, bro. Guys, do you guys want to go get something to eat or something? I think hey, before bonkers. before we go, I don't think we mentioned the date. Oh, oh, yeah, what's yeah, the date? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would Jeez. be really important. Best That's best. why I have an Alan. Just show up at any random time. And we'll just, just go to Jerry's best right best now for the, yeah, for the next five years. Yeah, yeah. Set up a tent. Yeah. Yeah, if you want. So Fest Fest 3 is happening August 20th. Um, it's starting at uh, 10, 20 a.m. And we'll be going till midnight. And uh, hey, let's be we realized. have three it's gonna, stages all day long. It's going to go long. past midnight. It'll probably go a little past midnight. Yeah, let's be real. Three stages all day long. It's all ages. Downstairs, outstairs. Correct. Upstairs, downstairs, outside. And then we have Andres, we have Fatty Cakes and the Puff Pastries, we have uh, a marionette, the Color 8, Happy Hour. That dude, Michael uh, Peters. We've got Dancing Tommy, we got Michael Peters. Contranistas. We've got Kevin, Contranistas. Contranistas. Canvas, Canvas Cam's going to be there setting up a booth. We also have... Um, Don't forget Wasteland. Doing Wasteland yeah, Wasteland Z will be there. there. And oh, Wasteland's wow. having a new issue premiere that day at Fest Fest. Yeah. Gang, gang. And then we have yeah. desserts from Bake Bake Shop. Gang, gang. Jerry's going to be, you know, Jerry's obviously going to be serving food. Providing the diarrhea. Um, we, yeah. <laughs> we have a, a bunch of vendors out there selling stuff. It's uh, be so time, it'll be a good time. Be but fun. it's August 20th. Jerry's Pizza, Fest Fest 3, $20 gets you in all day long to see long. Uh, right about, on. about 31 bands. Right on, guys. And well. here's the thing. Here's the thing. Oh, yes. A, yes, bring Josh. water. Bring water. B, you're supporting local businesses yes. and local music. That's all it is. It's all local. You're not okay. you're not supporting bands from LA. You're not supporting bands from fucking New York. You're supporting everybody around Support here. Support your scene. Mm-hmm. You're supporting everybody around you. You're supporting... Right on. And, and if you go to uh, bandsofbakersfield.com, you'll notice that there's a uh, Fest Fest logo on the homepage hey, now. Oh, there. There. nice. That, there's also uh, a to the Fest Fest page and shows you all the bands and their play times. Yeah. This is Alan Urquhart, by the way. Yeah. He, he's behind the, the window. The goat. He does all the stuff that the requires goat. a lot of effort. Also, on that page, you will find... <laughs> we a, just come here and talk, and yeah, he, yeah. You know, he's doing all the, all the button pushing. You'll also find a link to Ruben's OnlyFans on that page. So Okay, that's... that's um, that is probably not what people are going to go on there, but I'm sure some will. <laughs> yeah, there'll be right like on. one subscriber. <clears throat> I'm, a, I'm not going to lie, guys. We need to go eat some chicken right now or something. We're going to wrap this up. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for coming on, by the way. Hey, thank you yeah. for having us. This is like a, this is a, uh, we decided to do this podcast, even though it's not like our normal structure or whatever. But nah, you know, it's all good. I don't want to sound weird or lame, but uh, what you guys are doing for this town and for this music scene is um, vital. Thank and you. And it's very important. Because we're trying. Um, obviously podcast is where it's all at, you know, you yeah, have, you have uh, Sophie King and all that, um, podcasts are getting popular, but you yep. know, I, I think that, uh, it's really easy to get lost into like what is going on locally. Yeah. And I think what you guys are doing is, um, I guess grounding all of us and well, cool, man. And, it, and I think there's a the great, there's thank a you so much, man. That's, yeah, that's there's awesome. Bakersfieldbands.com. You know, for everyone to sign up and, um, yeah. you know, that's a great resource to discover local music. And then, yeah. you know, there's this re, you know, rekindling of the scene, you know, like Bakersfield Sound Co's doing the local gig menu, yeah. and, you know, telling you what's out there. And then, I, think it's a new, I think it's a new, you know, uh, dude, the wars, the, the beginning wars of a stuff, new dude. generation for local music. So, Hey, you know, can we talk right real on. quick? I saw you played at World Wars. How I was did. That? It was a blast, dude. Dude, it looked uh, really cool. I, uh, yeah, it looked really cool. I got to play a song that I wrote, and um, dude, Festus there was at some, Wars. 
Yeah, I know it's gonna be. There's crazy. like three stories, bro. Talk to David Anderson. Check it out. Yeah, we already anyway. somebody already approached us about that. Well, guys, I've had fun. Yeah, I'm thanks. having low blood sugar. Let's do it. Let's dude. go yeah. do something. We can cons- we'll eat like liquid bread or no, something. Let's go yeah, get some burgers, right. bro. <laughs> Real quick, guys. Hey, thank you for having us on. This has uh, been a special Bands of Bakersfield episode. We August twentieth, Saturday. August twentieth, Saturday Fest. Show Fest up 3. at ten twenty. It's gonna no, be a- no, no, no. Show up at ten o'clock. No, no. Pitch a tent the day before. Yeah, yeah. get some that. fucking Red Bull and some water because it's gonna be <laughs> spicy outside. Just pitch a tent and, and plan then, on uh, staying all goddamn day, dude. This is a this is your Bands of Bakersfield podcast. Yeah. Check out Bands of Bakersfield website. Add your bands. It's really quick. Thank you, guys. Remember to do that. Alan, Michael, Peters. Thank you, Josh. Also, yeah, Michael, you also Michael Peters playing Fest Fest, bro. That's going to be a I, big I deal, dude. I wouldn't worry about that. No, 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 no. It's going to be... Get there early because people are going to be lining up. Hands On down. that note, Alan, I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs>